1968, Enoch Powell, who was a conservative politician, is generally agreed to have given a speech that made immigration sort of an almost an undiscussable subject in Britain for decades. It was called the Rivers of Blood speech. It posited that, that Britain in particular was uh, under massive risk from the immigration from the colonies that was going on. Several things about this. First of all, Powell was talking about race and was not talking about religion or ideology, and that's a very striking thing when you read back at that speech. But, th but that's one of the things, he was fixed on that particular issue. Powell, a prominent right-winger, was taking the greatest risk of his career with an attack on immigration. And the Smithfield meat quarters marched on Parliament with a petition. There's 2,026 signatures there to say that Mr Enoch's right, that we have the right to say who we like and who we don't like. This is not a racial problem. All we say is that we've got enough immigrants into the country and that no more should be allowed in. But the, here's a very strange fact. Enoch Powell was slain by the British press and his career was over. He was sacked from the Shadow Cabinet. Despite, by the way, having the support for his speech of the majority of the British people. Uh, the majority of people polled, I think with around 60 to 70 percent, said they agreed with Enoch Powell. If he then stood to be Prime Minister, he would have had a national landslide. It was that dramatic, the degree of support and the intensity of it. 2,000 signatures in two days. A letter to the press, 88% of Slough people say they support Enoch Powell. 88% Slough people. White working people, traditionally core Labour supporters, were now backing a radical right-wing Tory. I think the doctor's saying, Enoch here, Enoch there, we want Enoch everywhere. That could serve as the text for that cartoon. Even the cat is Enoch. Now that's a dog, isn't it? It's a dog, oh, it's the on the knee. And there's a baby blonde. Um, and the baby, there's a baby Enoch. And it's Enoch leaning out of the window and talking to his neighbour. Right and the left. And riding a bicycle, which you've always yes. had trouble with. I think it was... A contemporary reference to that song, Enoch here, Enoch there, we want Enoch everywhere. One of the most striking things about it was that one of the biggest criticisms of Powell was a part of his speech where he talked about a woman who was the only white woman in a street somewhere in England where apparently everybody else was black. Now at the time, this was one of the things that was picked over by journalists who said there is no such street, there is no such place. Now, I put this to you. In 2011, we had another census in the UK. That census, among other things, showed that people who ticked the box saying white British were now a minority in London. In 23 out of 33 London boroughs, people who ticked white British were a minority. Now, if Enoch Powell in 1968 had been writing his speech and decided I'm going to use this speech to say that in 2011 white British people will be a minority in London Nobody. everybody would have said to him what are you thinking about you're a crazy man you may have the eyes and ears of a prophet but you're a crazy man you've gone over you've you've, you've gone you've gone insane every single thing that even the doom mongers said has turned out to be wildly understated. It's the same in France. It's the same in every country. All the people, if you look back at all of the post-war decades, all of the people who your society and mine shut down as the prophets of doom turned out to have vastly understated the case. That is a very big problem.